channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my thoughts on the Kylie Jenner The Bronze Palette. This is her Kai Shadows. I'm going to go ahead and share my thoughts and then we can get right into the demo where I try this palette on camera for you guys for the first time. So this is the look I came up with using this palette. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look and what my thoughts are on this palette, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright guys, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and talk about the packaging. So this is the box that it came in. So this is where the package came in. It came with a little letter, but I don't know what I did with it. And it's so funny because the letter says, thank you for purchasing a lip kit. Then this is the eyeshadow palette. So this is the packaging it came in. It says Kylie Kai Shadow Press Powder Eyeshadow. And I love this logo right here. So then you just take out the palette. And this is what the palette looks like. And then on the back is where it has all of the shadow names. That this packaging could be better because I literally opened it and this is what happened. When you open it, it's supposed to go like this. But mine is just broken. See, I keep opening it the wrong way. Either. And then it's just a bunch of bronzy neutrals, which I love. This is a really, really nice fall eyeshadow palette. I definitely am going to grab this a lot this fall. I think all of these swatch and blend pretty well as you guys will see in the demo. I just wish there was a little bit more pigmented glittery shades. There are two sparkly shades but they're really not that sparkly. Like As far as the pigment and the blending, um, you guys will go ahead and see me talk about that more in the demo. So if you guys want to see this makeup look that I came up with using this palette then please just keep on watching. Alright guys, so of course before any eyeshadow application, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids. I'm going to be using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Bot because I need this makeup to last a long time. And I think this is a perfect base to try new makeup because it's a good product. So excited. I'm going to take this white cream shade, it's called Topaz, and I'm just going to use this to go ahead and set my primer. Already off the bat, they're super powdery. They kind of remind me of the Makeup Geek shadows. Like if I step off the excess, you can kind of see it going in the air, which I love. Because I think that shadows that are really powdery give you a lot of room to blend. And I'm bringing it up all the way to the brow bone. I like it so far, it gives me a nice base. I'm going to go ahead and take this center shade, which is called Citrine. It's like a really burnt orange shadow, so I'm just going to pack it onto my Sigma E40, and I'm going to use this shade for my crease. And I'm just going to start working this on the outer part of my eye and into my crease. Wow, this is really pigmented. As you can see, I'm using a really light hand, and I've already got that much payoff on the outer part of my eye. I'm just going to blend this upwards. Dang. Super pigmented, wow. Yeah, I like it. It's blending out, it's blending out really nicely. Yes, I love this color. This is just one dip into the shadow and I just mixed it. I haven't dipped it back in, only to put it on this eye. So this is just one dip, that's crazy. Next I'm gonna go ahead and use Goldstone and I'm gonna place that right under Citrine. This is like more of a brown. Once that's all packed into my crease, I'm just going to blend it upwards towards that orangey shade. I'm going to grab my soft ochre paint pot and I'm just going to pot and I'm just going to go ahead and carve out my lid so that I can have some space to work with for a lid shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my pinky and kind of just pat it on there so it's not as tacky. Next I'm going to go back into Topaz and I'm going to place this all over the paint pot on my lid. I really feel like if it wasn't for the paint pot, this Topaz white shade wouldn't be as pigmented. Especially because I have hooded eyes, so my lids touch my crease. So this, I really recommend using a cream base. I'm going to go ahead and go in with Obsidian to start smoking out my outer V. This is like a red tone brown color. It reminds me of Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. I'm sure you can find dupes of all of these shadows on Makeup Geek's website for sure. I'm just going to start smoking the outer part of my eye. I'm just using very, very, a very, very light hand and I'm just blending. Like I'm using the flat side of the brush to really blend into that soft ochre. And then I'm going to take my MAC 217 and just further blend this to really, I'm going to go ahead and take this shade into the inner part of the eye as well to really diffuse the intensity of the paint pot and that white. So I'm going to go ahead and grab bronzite. It's this very chocolate dark brown color and I'm going to be using my Morphe brush 
to create a very sloppy, smoky wing. Just on the outer part, not even a wing, just a line on top of my lash line. And I'm gonna make like a V on the outer part. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left into the crease. And I'm just gonna take my MAC 217 and just blend that out. And I'm blending this into my crease as well. I'm gonna go in with Topaz and I'm using my Morphe M431 brush to highlight the brow bone. This is so pigmented, Lord. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my crease with a little bit of the crease color. For lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Demi Wispy Lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on and the rest of my face and then I'll come back to show you guys how I finish the lower lash line and the inner corner of the eye makeup. All right guys, so now that my face is completely done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line and tight line with my Pony FX Eyeliner in Brown Sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this on my waterline and on my upper. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Sigma E25 brush and I'm gonna grab this shade right here and this is called Goldstone. I'm just gonna use this to go ahead and start blending out my lash line. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Obsidian and then I'm gonna place that on my lower lash line as well with the same Sigma brush. Then grabbing this shimmery shade right here called Quartz, I'm grabbing my Morphe M431 brush, packing it on there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight on my inner tear dusk. So in conclusion, I absolutely love this palette. The blending as well, the pigmentation is so, so nice. They're really, they're not creamy, they're very powdery, but they blend really well and the shadows are perfect for this fall season. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.